Those silly little ears. Oh. They are something. Look at that. There they're it all, is. They're all so cute when they're babies. And it's dark behind you. We're the, getting used to this yes. all over again. All over again. Yeah. The time has changed. The days are getting shorter, and that means they're also getting cooler. Although we are going to see temperatures increase a little bit by the time we get to the middle of the week. Right now, though, here's a view from our Mount Wilson camera. You can see that the marine layer is beginning to develop, and we will see low clouds and fog by tomorrow morning. In fact, possibly even some reduced visibility because of how low and how dense those clouds will be. 65 degrees over downtown Los Angeles. It is 67 in Fullerton, 84 in Palm Springs, and 70 to Chino as we take a look at the weather chart. There's our area of low pressure that is going to continue to shift out of the region to the east and then right behind it we are going to see high pressure build. As that ridge of high pressure builds on Thursday, well Wednesday, Thursday, it is going to bring much, much hotter weather. In fact, the temperatures are going to be significantly warmer. In some areas, a jump between Wednesday and Thursday may be about maybe 20 degrees. So again, no joke guys, it is going to be hot and it's also going to be dry. The clouds tomorrow morning will return as I mentioned and we are going to see some reduced visibility along parts of the coastal plain so if you head out the door early make sure you prepare for that. Give yourself extra time because you always have to slow down. Always always reduce your speed. Northwesterly winds will be on tap for us tonight into tomorrow. We are going to see just the regular pattern over the next couple of days but then by the time uh, Wednesday night into Thursday roll around we are going to see see an increase in these winds because we are going to see Santa Ana winds and this is going to be possibly maybe a low to moderate event. So we'll keep an eye on it and we'll give you better information as we get more agreement in terms of the models and the wind speeds. Just know that that is a possibility, especially along the Antelope Valley and parts of LA and Ventura County Mountains. Tomorrow's daytime highs, here's what you can expect. Santa Clarita, 86 degrees, 80 in Burbank and Pasadena, 76 in Hollywood, Bell and Bellflower. 76 in Irvine. Take a look at Dana Point. Beautiful there. Low 70s. 84 in Riverside. 86 in Cabazon. Barstow. A little breezy in the afternoon and 85 degrees. For Orange County, we'll start with you. Tomorrow, low clouds, reduced visibility. 80 degrees will be your daytime high. Temperatures will begin to increase on Wednesday with 87 and then 93 on Thursday. That's a nice big jump from there to there. And then take a look at the drop. From Thursday to Friday, again, that's going to be about 20 degrees. LA Coastal Basin, we go from 76, which is average, to 90 degrees on Thursday, well above average, to 63 and possibly wet on Saturday, and then again on Sunday. San Fernando, San Gabriel Valley, low 80s tomorrow, partly cloudy skies, 90 degrees on Wednesday. Temperatures peak for you on Thursday with 92 degrees. Your best chance of rain will be probably on Sunday, and then for the inland.